Guys, so, we played Black Metal in Popper. How did it go? Well, we went 2-1. and one. We lost to Elves, which we didn't really have a very good sideboard for. We were able to beat Monoway Tokens just by kind of aggressive, putting them on the back foot, which is really what you have to do against those Tokens decks. And then we beat a Blue-Black Control Reanimator deck um, that kind of looked a little bad. Um, and we kind of put the pressure on him there. He, he maybe scooped a little prematurely. But uh, here in Pop Ponderings, you know, we're going to take those Ws we, when we can get them. Um, as for what was good, what wasn't good. Well, um, the card, Glaze Fiend, is very, very powerful. This is a card that you just don't get this type of power in Popper this very often. This thing very, very, very often attacks for four and sometimes even six. And uh, that is a clock that a lot of decks cannot keep up with. The card Volt Scourge is also quite powerful in conjunction with a card like Bone Splitter. We saw in game two of uh, our match against Mono White, where we were able to just strap a Bone Splitter to a Volt Scourge and attack a bunch of times. It kind of just really puts them on the back foot. The other card that kind of impressed me was Costly Plunder. Uh, this card is just an upgrade on the card Ultra's Reef, which is a Popper Pondering's favorite. And um, just being able to sacrifice Sickle Well Spring to draw three cards is very, very good. Bone Splitter, as usual, is just a powerhouse. This is one of the best reasons to play aggro in this format. It's just so good, so cheap, so efficient. Bleak Coven Vampire is another card that definitely impressed me. Um, it seemed just like a aggressive Grey Merchant, which is funny to say when you consider how much damage a Grey Merchant can deal, but I was quite impressed with this card. And then Doomed Operative. Again, just a 2-mana 3-2 with, uh, with Death Touch. This card was fine. It, it did its job. Uh, it traded with a lot of stuff. Maybe a little slow, but in this deck, I think it was fine. The only card that really didn't feel very good to me was Frexian Walker. I think this would be better off as an Ornithopter, as Ornithopter will hold up hold a Bone Splitter a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, I think this deck was good. Executioner's Capsule was cool. I like that card. Bigman Knight was okay until we played against the Gourmet Anglers. But overall, I think this deck definitely has some legs, and if you're looking to sleeve it up, or I guess build it on Magic Online, I definitely would uh, would recommend it as it's pretty fun. I would definitely work on the sideboard a little bit. Maybe having some more shrivels would be okay. The sign of were okay. The Chainer's Edicts would have been good if we needed them in the matchups. Duress was obviously good, and Choking Sands was obviously good. Actually, I think I think the sideboard is good. It may make some room for some more shrivels. So tell me what you think down below. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you check us out online, www.themanabase.com. And uh, check us out, our, our store, FusionGamingOnline.com. Make sure you check them out as well. They have a weekly card of the day, so make sure you check that out. And we have a lot of sweet, sweet authors over at the Mana Base, so you're going to want to check them out as well. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys were bummed about my Patreon, so going forward, now that I have like a steady job and stuff, that's going to be implemented again. So... I know there's a lot of lost faith in me, but hopefully over the next coming couple of weeks, I can rebuild that faith with you guys, and uh, we can get a Patreon going, get some sweet shirts out to you guys. I'll probably have a prototype in here for you, so you can look at it, and then hopefully you guys will be more inclined to wear it. I'll probably make a video in itself about it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next week. I will probably be needing some decks this week, so send them to my email, which is down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next week.